that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, You're right over there, Craig. I've had a cold for like a week. Oh, to be man. honest with you. Gonna so I'm going to insert a cough drop right now. Excellent. And, and my mouth, not anywhere else. I wish you'd just Why did you shove feel it up your to... nose or something. <laughs> Can you not suck on the thing? How about I mute you until it's your turn to talk? How about that? All right. Punk's new gimmick is that he makes off-the-cuff, totally unscripted shoot comments. What's the matter, HBK? Were you going to tell the fans to suck it? Oh, look, I am wearing a Bret Hart sweatshirt. What a faux pas on my part. And uh, they actually tease the idea that CM Punk would join NXT. I can think of nothing funnier. Dragon Lee versus Dominic Mysterio from the North America. That was title. Craig's cue, by the way. I unmuted him. Sounds like he's I got nothing to add there. Here. You're a quiet sucker, Craig. I'll leave you on for now. Excuse me? You heard me. Although we did just talk about Sean and Punk and suck it. That was ironic. Craig was, in fact, sucking it. And now he's sucking loudly. Yes. Let's not suck loudly, Craig. Uh, I, we do I that enough really on like this the, show. The, I don't like the direction of this show is going right now. Um, you yeah. brought it up, dude. Yeah, you're, you're the, the one, one that who started it. to suck. Yes, you're the one that was making a joke about putting in your ass. <laughs> that too. Yes. <laughs> that wasn't us. Got us on here. Somebody on the chat is saying here that Lexus King, his fans have a nickname, the Lex Offenders. No. They won't have that name for long. I can't even say this with a straight face. You have got to be kidding me. But other people are saying it's true. Two people start. Mm -hmm. A new person enters every five minutes. If you pin someone, you get a point. Yes. And your opponent must go to a penalty box. And whoever has the most points at the 25-minute mark is the winner. And they will get a title shot at New Year's Evil. Like, it fills up the entire screen. Every pixel of the screen is used. And I explained it like, uh, you know, I don't know. 20 words. Here's all you really words. need to know. It's a multi-person Iron Man match with timed entry. They actually lay it out like it's a multiplayer game, and they have people's scores on the bottom. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Your it's, description, it's Vinny, was correct, but it was too brief. You would still have people asking many questions. All right. So I think that mine was, was superior. <clears throat> you know, I gave this match four and a half stars, and the more I think about it, I may have underrated this match. They pulled it off. It was perfect. Mm-hmm. That word cannot be thrown around lightly. The last 90 seconds of this match were absolutely fucking perfect. And you know why else it's awesome? Because you can see exactly where this is going. He's going to get his big title match against Ilya Dragunov at New Year's Evil. And you know who's going to fuck him? That son of a bitch Carmelo Hayes. Yeah, it's it's very obvious. And Carmelo Hayes is going to be the biggest heel in this entire fucking company. There's only 2,800 people in this building. Mm. And it's it's like you hear the people chanting, but there's not that many chanting, and they're having these great matches, not in front of a lot of people, and it's it's irrit it's it's irritating actually to me. I want this place to be doing better. Granny gets a week off next week. She's very happy to have a week off. It's her uh, Christmas vacation. I give her one week off a year. Otherwise, I'm working her to the bone. Right, Granny? Yeah. If Brian, Vinny, Craig, Shane, and Granny. We're a five-person Survivor Series team. Shane, you say. What would their team name be? Minus five stars with a tilde bang. That's okay. actually the best one yet because it plays into this what, what was the best one yet? and none of us are stars. Yeah. The Nation of Caucasians. <laughs> <laughs> the Figure Four Weaklings. <laughs> wow, that's, that's not good. bad. The Wrinkle Rebels. Just five geeks. I so like now it. Now that's starting to be hurtful. <laughs> oh, now? We will survive. <laughs> Granny, are you enjoying these? <laughs> are you awake over there, Granny? Denny Betterman, a top fan. Oh, sorry, Granny. What was that? Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll keep going. <laughs> Just mumbling. Okay. Can, we, can we turn that hearing aid on or what? <laughs> the ultimate memoirs. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate memoirs. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. That warrants. Excellent. Hey, Lake. Yes. Right. He wanted all the relatives to know that he had a Cadillac. That was my most hated relative was Bert. Hmm. I like uh, to rank my relatives by most hated. <laughs> I think a lot of people do secretly. <laughs> we went to Reno. One guy from the group was a recovered alcoholic. Well, guess what? He wasn't that recovered? 
He not recovered anymore. We couldn't, hmm. we couldn't find him for a couple of days. Wow. Yeah, it was that's a, bad. That's a bender. Sounds like he was just an alcoholic. This Brian Adias. Anybody notice? Look like a young, younger Dave Meltzer. Are you telling me you think that Brian Adias was Dave Meltzer? That no. actually would be the greatest rave in the history of everything. That actually would. <laughs> Wasn't he in Texas this time? He was. He was in Texas was he? this time, yeah. A great secret. He wrestled with no mask on yeah. for years and years and years in one of the biggest companies in the world, and nobody noticed. You know what's ironic? Tell me. Fucking same age. Whoa. Uh, the Christmas show has been recorded. I stopped drinking three hours ago, and I still feel like death oh, sorry. wormed over. Sorry to hear that. How do you feel? Ah, uh, fine. Oh, yeah? On the whole. On the whole. Fuck. Roderick Strong and Heyman Page. God, this match was great. And they had four tournament matches. God damn, that's like a lot of matches. And, you know, Tony had announced a five-minute overrun. And, man, they fucking timed this thing out, like, impeccably. Because these guys got a lot of fucking time. And, you know, nothing on the rest of the show looked truncated. Can't okay. believe I used that word in the state. Correctly. Yeah. Wow. The worst thing in the show, I think we can all agree. The Golden Jets come out for a promo. You ever just have a bad day at the office? Yeah, that's old Kenny. Sometimes people on the mic have a bad day, and as soon as you start to have a bad day, you start to like overthink it, and then your day just gets worse and worse and worse. And like, Kenny was having a bad day, and he didn't give a fuck. No. He's no, laughing about it. Yeah, no. He's like, oh, fuck. He, he was not the only one having a bad day. I called us to Winnipeg Jets. Fuck. Who cares? Scooby tag team name. Jericho had a bad day. Let me show you all how to do a sleeper. Fuck, I'm going to show you on Vinny. Yeah. Brian said, choke me out, everyone. It's been real. You won't go all the way out. But watch. Mm -hmm. You go around the neck. Mm -hmm. You make sure his chin is in the crook of your elbow. Mm -hmm. Your other one goes behind. You mm -hmm. grab your bicep. Mm -hmm. Make a fist. And then you bring your elbows together. Mm -hmm. And you pull with your lats. That sucks. Okay? Yep. How long did that take? For me to tap instantly. Crowd was very, 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 very into the Dem Boys chant at the beginning of this. Can't imagine why. Yeah, they had that Twitter thing. There was a guy on Fox who was part of their social media team who's fucking clueless. Okay, that's it. It wasn't meant to be like, you know, steal something from the Briscoes or whatever. It was a guy who didn't know what he was doing, who did a stupid thing on the Fox Twitter account. Moxley is a huge fan of Swerve. These guys are going to go to Texas and they are going to fucking bleed and sweat and fucking it's going to be a bloodbath. And of all the fucking matches yes. <laughs> of all the matches I've ever seen this was the most unlikely match I've ever seen to have no blood whatsoever. I have no earthly idea who the devil's going to be. But I think the two obvious contenders are jungle boy or adam cole yes fightful here apparently according to sean has reported the devil is not jungle boy all right well the devil is nobody right now it's nobody mm -hmm. but it can be anybody could be you or and me. i think it's gonna be jungle boy yeah. but we shall see we learned that carmelo has been attacked backstage trick is getting mobbed by these reporters and you know Melo's not getting mobbed so he just walks into the building, just wanders his way in. And then they come back from commercial, and he's down. But we only see that he's down. We just see anybody attack him. And Trick is trying to figure out who attacked Mello. And these were the goddamn fucking worst promo segments. They were so bad. So bad. Horrible dialogue. Horrible acting. I was like, God, fuck. And they were short. Is it that hard? The answer is yes. Dijak slams Thorpe into the turnbuckle, which breaks. And so Dijak Dude, grabs the turnbuckle. You guys know what a turnbuckle is? It's a buckle that turns. Whoop, that trick is the talk of all WWE. And Ilya dapping up trick will never, ever, ever, ever get old. God damn, this trick is so fucking over. Mm -hmm. And he is a great promo. And God damn, did he have a great match that first time with Ely and he's going to have another one? This guy is going to be something. Let me tell you. Yeah. He's going to be a big fucking star. Mm -hmm. 
Carmelo grabs Ilya's belt, and as he yanks it away, accidentally belt shots trick. You know, I, I like this segment. I thought they all did a good job. This show wasn't quite as bad. Like, It was not a good show. I don't know. It wasn't good. It wasn't terrible. But, you know, I've seen so many shows that I really, really enjoyed. And this one was just like a bunch of shit where it was like, I don't know. You swung on that. You missed on that. It was all right. 